Did you see that? I know, right? Well, you know what that weather calls for? I know, something warm. No, I don't mean hot chocolate. So, let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to my chicken once again. My name is Ronald. If you're new here, make sure you like, share, subscribe so you don't miss a bite. Today we're going to be making a uh, chicken noodle soup, at least the version that I know. Oh, I'm gonna make be making my own version of it. So I hope you guys are excited and ready for it. Um, I want to share basically the little tricks we use sometimes in soups uh, to give it a body or let's say to just make it a bit thickened. Even if it's not necessarily a cream or a thickened soup, but you have to give it a body so it doesn't look like dish water. Okay, you guys are ready? Let's get started. First things first, usually I have my pot like this big, as you guys can see that, right? It's basically as long as my arm, right? Literally this long, just so you guys know. So I'm gonna put my, start with some water. So as for the water, I didn't really put that much. I only put like uh, this much right here because I'm going to do the different fillings. Okay, so like I said, we're doing chicken noodles. So we do have diced chicken here, which is, comes in frozen. Uh, it's a big bag actually here. Again, I'm gonna go measure off with my hand, a foot by a foot in this case, if you guys can see how much this chicken then would be in here. I also have a bag of uh, milpua. So milpua simply means the three vegetables that would be carrots, onions, and also celery. So that's the mix we have in here. And since I already have my water on, I'm just gonna put this right in right now. I can't put the chicken yet because the chicken will break down a whole lot faster. So I put this in, get it cooking. If you're working in the commercial kitchen, you know what I'm talking about. So you're basically coming to the fridge and the fridge and see what other vegetables you might have in there. So what I have here is uh, some vegetables we do on a la carte. So I have some uh, carrots in here. I wanna utilize all those up. And also what I'm noticing here, we have some mashed potatoes here. So I'll be using that as a bit of a thickener, but also I may end up adding some cornstarch if I need to. That's the mash. Yeah, there's lactose milk in here. There's also a bit of uh, a butter or margarine that we use in here too. So now what we're going to do is actually let this cook for a little while, as I said. Um, I'm gonna make sure the onions are cooked, uh, or in this case, the onions will take a lot longer. Wow. So celery and on celery and carrots will cook a little faster. Actually, for some reason, the onions will take a bit longer, so I'm gonna make sure they're cooked all the way. So for now, this is what we are. See that? So yeah, since the chicken is in right now, you see the difference right now? We're gonna tell the difference between this and what we're going to make. That now it looks like dish water, right? I mean, the flavor may be there, but it may not look so good. All right, so let's do the flavors now. Okay, so as for the spices, again, you guys know I have plenty of those, and I'm gonna be using what we have right here. And also, I put the side. So what I'm going to include again, I do like that right there, uh, but it has uh, multiple different things, as you can see. I do like to use a bit of that. I'm also gonna add some more onion powder. I'm going to use a bit of puree labeled this as sugar. I'm gonna put some sugar in there. I'm gonna have a touch of black pepper in it and a touch of roasted garlic. So in terms of measurements for spices, what I typically do is again, use the cup right here. Again, if you buy one of these, that cup right there should be pretty decent, honestly. Uh, but you could use, of course, two, but if you have at least have measurements. So if you're training someone, to, uh, people ask you how much am I using? So I would say at least, since we have a big pot, I use two of these at least. So I'm going to make sure to do two of those. Black pepper, you have to be a little careful because you may end up putting too much. So I don't put as, as a full cup right here. 
and then when it comes to sugar i don't put that much um i have to be careful with that because you don't want to make it too sweet you just want to balance things out so for this one here i will specifically measure this and say i'm gonna make a, a flat one just like that again i'm using this because this here is a big part As you can see, those are all the spices in here, but one more thing we need to add in here is more flavor, of course. And uh, what I'm gonna be using for that, I'm gonna put in a bit of chicken stock, chicken stock paste, and also the vegetable paste as well. So for the vegetable and the chicken stock paste I use, actually I do, you know, I'm not paying me to say this, but I do use leech right there. And I buy that low sodium one, so that way your soup is not all very salty. Because sometimes we buy certain bases, they have a lot of salt in them. So this is a half a cup. I'm gonna put four of these. I'm putting in two cups basically. A bit two, three. This is a vegetable base. This is actually a third of a cup. I'm gonna put in six of these. So you guys can tell already that color is changing for sure because the flavor is building up. And also when you put these in, by the way, they also make it a bit thick as well. So you want to be careful how thickness you're going for, okay? So now, if you look in there, it looks pretty good, right? It's gonna get there. So now that most of my stuff are in there, I'm gonna put some mashed potatoes, but also I'm gonna add some more water. You might wonder why I'm using mashed potatoes. You don't really have to. I have it, so I'm gonna utilize it. I won't start by doing, doing too much, so I'm gonna put in a uh, half. It's a big container, as you guys probably may tell. Now keep an eye on that thickness, as I said, I'm just giving it a body, I'm not really thickening it. There's a difference, guys. Now, I use my whisk. Make sure all the those mashed potatoes are disappearing because sh someone shouldn't tell if you have mashed potatoes or not. So as you guys can see, right? That's the color we end up with between the spices and everything else. And this is how I get rid of that mash to break it down as well. Okay, so this is where we are right now. This is what it looks like at the moment and it's still cooking by the way. And also, this is what I mean by make sure it's a bit thicker. That's the difference between this and that. Because it's not thickened, but it has a body to it. This is what I mean by a body. It has a bit of a body to it to make sure it's not looking like dish water. Yes? I'll show you guys the final result in a moment once it starts cooking. But you can see definitely have the chicken in there. And also, actually, at this point in time, I think I'm gonna change my mind. I don't think I'm gonna be putting in uh, noodles. Right now, what you can actually do uh, to this soup, you can actually in convert it to different ones, or you can modify it to whatever you want. Um, uh, right now, you can add in the pasta or noodles to say chicken noodle soup, or you can put in rice now and say chicken and rice soup, or in this case, leave it as is because you have vegetables and chicken and say it's a uh, chicken and vegetable soup. If you want to turn into creamy soup, very much so, you can just add cream right now and it become into kind of a cream soup. Although before maybe you add too much water to be that kind of chicken vegetable cream soup, right? So again, it's that version that you want to come up with depending on what you want. Um, obviously right now, I, I saw, I just realized this looks pretty good the way it is right now. So I won't add anything else. I won't add the noodles, I won't add the rice. I'm now, in this case, I'm changing it to be chicken and vegetable soup. All right, so our soup is ready now. I'm going to take it off. As you can see, you see the chicken, you see the vegetables. And uh, basically that's it, we're good to go. That part behind you. And if you do it right, you don't need to scrub the pot. All 
all right so there we go guys there we have it um as you guys can see everything in here this place so you have the vegetables in here you also have the chicken plenty of chicken for sure to make sure people don't complain as oh you know like sometimes you get chicken noodle soup and you find out that there isn't enough chicken but as you can see we have plenty of chicken so um, just like that all right let's give this a try but I guess you can see what I'm talking about guys right in terms of a body I know you saw I put mashed potatoes I uh, actually didn't end up adding anything more that was just enough but in terms of um, thickness this is what I'm talking about it gives it a body known to thick because it sips it, keeps, it still runs off the spoon but not looking like fish water mm. Mm. So good. Well, you guys let me know what you think about this. Uh, I feel like the ideas, or maybe there's something you do that I don't do. Hey, you can really share ideas. Um, uh, I, for one, I have to say I'm happy with this. As I said, they love it every single time here for our chicken noodle or chicken rice soup. Let's say you can modify this soup for sure the way you want it to. For this more like I will make the best of vegetable chicken vegetable soup. And today actually it was that option where we had a uh, resin's choice and i did went out asked them what would you like today like chicken you don't make great to make that for you i've just told my chef how to make it as well thank you guys i hope you see my next video and uh, before i go actually i also do a word of the day here okay so the word of the day today is going to be spoon i've actually done this before does anybody remember what it is spoon with a chijiko you know mm. Thanks guys, I really hope to see my next video. Bye. I'm sure you wish you wanna be here, huh? Mm. So good. But along with that, we also have the tea biscuits. I put some cheese on some of them. What do you guys think? <laughs>